The moon may not be as dead as we thought. China S. Chang E6 mission has just revealed something scientists have searched for for decades. Crystalline hematite and magamite formed directly by a massive impact. This is the first physical evidence that highly oxidized minerals exist on the moon's surface. That's surprising, because the moon is one of the most oxygen-poor, chemically reduced places in the solar system. Under normal conditions, oxidation shouldn't happen there at all. But the new samples from the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the oldest and largest impact craters in the solar system, tell a very different story. Scientists discovered micron-sized grains of hematite using electron microscopy, Raman spectroscopy, and energy loss analysis. And these grains are native to the moon, not contamination from Earth. So how did oxidation happen on an airless world? The answer, giant impacts. When a major asteroid slammed into the moon, it produced temperatures high enough to vaporize rock. This created a short-lived environment rich in oxygen-bearing vapor. At the same time, minerals like troilite broke apart, releasing iron that oxidized instantly, and then condensed into crystalline hematite and magamite. This also explains why hematite is found together with magnetic minerals like magnetite. The process links oxidation, magnetism, and impact physics all at once. And that connection could finally solve another lunar mystery. Why does the Moon have localized magnetic anomalies? Regions like the northwest of the South Pole Aitken Basin have strange magnetic signatures that scientists haven't been able to fully explain. The new Chang E6 samples show that oxidized iron minerals formed during ancient impacts may be the long-missing magnetic carriers. For decades, we believed the moon's surface was entirely reduced, chemically quiet and frozen in time. But Chang E6 just proved that some of the most violent moments in lunar history created pockets of unexpected chemistry and left magnetic fingerprints still detectable today. This discovery rewrites part of lunar evolution and opens the door to understanding how planetary surfaces change under catastrophic impacts.